Say when. All right. So showing a fellow in the shop this trick. Guy showed this to me a long time ago. Uh, if you're fabricating something, especially if you're doing sheet metal type work or something, just oddball things, sometimes you'll run on to something that is a crazy shape that you'll have to cut and if you, you maybe don't have a protractor don't want one don't want to deal with the angles and want a super quick way that you can figure out how to replicate this shape maybe to put it inside of something that you've cut out or whatever i'm going to show you a really quick way to do this so what you need is you need something with a point uh, I'm using a file, but it just really needs to have the more accurate the point, closer you can get to your work, a little bit better. So this is a quick fix. So what I'm going to do, is I'm creating a pattern. If you can figure out what I'm doing before I get done by all means let everybody else know Kyle you got any ideas what's happening here no are you trying to get high off that sharpie Whoosh. oh baby Hide the Sharpies. Thanks, Dale. Yes, it is. So I am creating a pattern, son. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. This is the one that I don't have. Yeah. That is the one I don't have. So, this, zoom in on that. That is my pattern that's going to allow me to do this, this image. So, let's replicate that real quick. Let's move over here beside it, and that way we can kind of get an idea how close we have to our image. Just going to slide this whole thing down. All right. Sometimes, whenever you're fabricating or, or building stuff, I've always been a student of the people around me. Even the ones I thought were uh, sometimes idiots. Because I've worked with a lot of people that's had a lot of bad ideas and a lot of people that's had a lot of good ideas. And if you learn from both of them, you learn to avoid the bad ideas. While simultaneously giving credit to the good ideas. Now, all we need to do is connect the dots. Now this will not be exactly 100% accurate, but if you're out in the field trying to do some fabrication work on the spot, and you need to try to figure out a weird shape or a weird angle for something to get the job done. This can be pretty precise if you take the time, set everything up properly. And there's the picture of the image that we were trying to replicate. If everybody's having a good week, this is just a shop tip. I want to do more shop tips like this because fabricating and building stuff is fun. And uh, I've been encouraged this week by people who uh, 
told me that watching videos that we had done here in the shop had encouraged them to start learning and fabricating. And uh, that is uh, a pretty amazing thing. So take care.